Bar hopping crowds and some violent incidents have pitted bar owners against residents on the south side this summer with police in the middle. Today, public safety leaders met with the business owners to try to iron out those differences. Andy Sheehan joins us with the evolving goal of striking a balance. Well, crossing his fingers, public safety director Wendell Hisrick says with measures like traffic mitigation, the incidents down here in the past two weeks have been very few. But bar owners say they're having a tough time getting by. The morning meeting brought together about two dozen bar owners who complain they've gotten a bad rap for the sporadic violence and sometimes unruly crowds who have clogged East Carson Street on Friday and Saturday nights. It is a pretty uh, heated uh, uh, conversation. Owners like Rich Kupka say measures like blocking the street from through traffic has severely impacted their businesses. While police have been hands off about things like pot smoking and permitting skirmishes with no arrests. You can put a thousand police on here a night, and if they're not allowed to do their jobs, it's going to continue forever. What the bar owners want, the residents don't. What the residents want, the bar owners don't. And uh, you know, we're the police officers and public safety are in a in the middle. Safety Director Wendell Hisrick denies the police have had their hands tied, but have focused on arresting the more severe offenders. And he says so far, the city's measures have paid off. When we started this, we had several hundred, if not thousand people on Carson Street, and it was traffic gridlock. The officers could not see what was going on. And now we've maintained an emergency lane and we've maintained visibility for the officers. Under discussion are measures to loosen up the traffic blocks and possibly provide greater access for Uber and Lyft to ferry revelers in and out of the neighborhood. But bartender and resident Jessica Selak says improving the behavior of some of the wilder patrons is a much taller order. You can't do whatever you want here. It's no different from anywhere else. That message has to go out to the public. I believe so. Now, while Director Hisrick says he is open to new ideas, it appears that striking a balance between bar owners and residents will always be a work in progress. Reporting on the South Side, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.